What's up everyone? We got a few things on the agenda today. We've got a whole rescue coming in. So we have to be able to get uh, some fish moved around so we can open up some quarantine tanks because they are all going to be full once again. All right, so first up, we've got this big old clown loach. Probably gonna be the largest one in the horde. If I can catch him. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's quick. And he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Those are cool. Oh, the quickest one. Oh my goodness. Not quick enough. Not the smartest one. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to eat. All right, so you know, I've offered this guy up for a long time. Nobody has, you know, sp spoken for him. So this guy is going in my 750 and he's gonna live out the rest of his life. I have one in there now. I personally like the fish, but you know, I told people like, I don't need every single fish that comes th through here. So I offered it to other people so they can get a nice variety of fish. But since nobody wants them, I'm gonna go ahead and toss them in my tank. <laughs> Lucky little guy. All right, you better get out of my lane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going right up in here. Oh, there we go. So you can see this guy here, he looks big, right? Or at least he did in that other tank. Look right back there, there goes mine. He is just a mammoth. He's right back here. So that is a marbled goby. All right guys, so I had an idea. I was looking for this wood for like three days. Finally found it in another tank. I threw it in here, I remember, because I wanted to stay waterlogged. But I've got an idea for this one piece of wood. It kind of looks like Gandalf stack, you know? <laughs> All right, now, got this cool old piece of wood. I cannot <laughs> pull this hole. Kind of tie that in. All right, tanks filled back up, looking great. Now you can kind of see what I did here. So we got this uh, log in here in the corner, it's tied up, it kind of creates another hide for them in this back corner. We've got that hide there where I put that Jaguar cichlid in there. Now the clown knives are not fighting over the same hide, they are healing back up. They did get into a little scuffle there for a little bit. As you can see that uh, gold clown knife got a little chunk out of his tail, has not gotten worse, it is now healing back up. 
that guy was scraping himself on the stones. Now I don't see any new marks. He is now healing back up. He had a couple nips in his tail as well. But now they are starting to get, get along and they realize that they both have hides. This tank is big enough for the both of them. But this tank looks a hell of a lot better than it did. And I am happy with its progress. See how clean, sterile, and you know, it, it just lo looks nice to me. I definitely like that this tank and the thousand over there kind of have the same theme with them rocks. I got these straight out of the backyard. So that is uh, free scaping right there. I might take another one of these stanchion blocks and put on the middle right here and raise that, that up so they have a little bit more room under these blocks. But that'll be the next time I'm in there and I drain the tank because this is four foot deep. So it's a little hard for me to get, get in there and do anything without draining the tank. So let's take a look at what came in. So we got a bunch of polar parrots down here. There's some convicts, some uh, blue acaras. What else do we got in here? We got some Cynodonis cats. There's a little bit of everything. There's a Senegal biter right there. We got this little deformed albino Paku, there's a regular Paku, some Plecos, a Jack Dempsey. We got a whole slew of Oscars. There is so many. There's albinos, reg regulars, tigers, reds, you name it. We got them over here in the 150, no more Plecos. Got more Midas. We got a Niger catfish. We got tiger shovel nose. Venezuela pike, you know, gars, there's uh, spot, spotted gar and Florida gar. It's a little bit of everything. So our quarantine tanks are now packed full again. Back here we've got another tiger shovel nose. There's a smaller paku right there. We've got the jaguars in here. And then back in this tank, we've got, this is about a 30 inch red tail. And then there's a big Paku back there and an iridescent shark. So these are the guys that just came in we had to make room for. Now these guys can go through port quarantine and then I will slowly rehome them. Okay, so just as fish start coming in, we've already got some going back out. The bullheads going to a new home today along with the tilapia. Couple of the African cichlids down there. And then this Midas cichlid up here. So this is the stuff I don't show you. You know, just as they came in, someone came. I told them they didn't go through quarantine. They still want one of the fish. So I already, you know, got rid of a couple of fish out of quarantine. It lessens the load on me a little bit. I am fine with, you know, giving fish out before they run through my quarantine process because they are just going to restart once they get to everyone else's, you know, tanks. So as long as I tell them and I feel that the fish are healthy enough to make the transport, then we'll be good to go. So we got this alligator guard here too. I forgot to mention him. And then this broken back spotted guard or Florida guard. That is a Florida guard. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I have you guys here. I have really good news. I told you that I would, you know, possibly be rehoming one of our tortoises. And I told you I had... You know, an idea of which one and possibly where I'm going to be taking them to. Well, this Thursday, so uh, the day after you're seeing this video, tomorrow, I will be taking Mr. Cal to a wonderful home. He's going to be traveling with, with us, and I'm going to be dropping him off at his new home. So that's going to be, you know, a little bit exciting. And uh, they're going to enjoy him. He's going to have a much larger enclosure to Rome so that is super exciting I already talked to the pre previous owner and let them know about Cal as well and uh, that they're super ecstatic and you know when I brought, brought it up to her she was just you know just wanted to make sure that Cal was t taken care of and then she realized it was us so of course we're gonna make sure our boy you know is treated well because when they leave here we make sure they're treated like our own pet but we just felt, even with that new, you know, 10-foot enclosure outside, it was still not enough for Cal. We are not at the point of building the big 40-foot enclosure outside because we got to get a few projects done first. So, you know, maybe next year we'll have that up for the, the, the other two tortoises that we have, Littlefoot and Chomper. 
but Cal is going to a very great home. So we literally got in about a hundred fish on this last run, even got some turtles here. I got to put them into a tank. So they're just sitting in a bucket right now until I can get them in that tank. Uh, we even just had a snake come in, but we are doing water changes now on these quarantine racks. They'll probably get a water change either da daily or by, by daily because they've got a larger bio load on it. But I literally already have a bunch of people chiming in and asking if they can come and pick up fish. So you know what, there's probably about 20 or so in here and I got rid, rid of about 10 of the African cichlids that were in this tank. So that kind of bogged down the load on here. Got a couple fish in this tank. And then we've got the koi out here. There's probably about 30 or so koi in this tub. I've got a few more that are coming tomorrow. And uh, I've got that big filter box running plus an FX6 on it. It is able to keep up. This is only a uh, 700 ga gallon tub where it's sitting. That is a filter for a 2,500 gallon pond plus the FX6 on there. So we are doing good. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We will catch you in the next one. As always, stay fishy, my friends.